Hi, uh, this is a little short video for my brother-in-law and anyone else who'd like to know how to create a specific route using Basecamp. Um, I listened to the tutorials and I watched the help and there's a few little things they failed to mention that makes your job a lot easier. So I'm going to do that now and just give you a quick tutorial on how to create your own custom route using Garmin's Basecamp. The first thing I wanted to do was find where I'm going to go so I can find it on a map. So if I look at these areas here, if I uh, do a waypoint, um, I can go along the route and that's where I want to go, uh, 350 Leggett Drive in Ottawa. So I'm just going to insert a waypoint there, right there. So that's my tell. Um, that's only so I can find it later on in the map. So now I'm going to click on Pan and I'm going to go back down to uh, Cornwall where I'm going to start which is over here. Now one of the things they didn't tell you about on this uh, map is once you start a route if you want to draw it um, and I'll show you the problem I ran into until I phoned help and then of course they took a little while to, to really understand what I wanted. I'm starting at Brookdale here to get uh, to uh, to uh, my tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, New Whoops, File, New, and New Root. Okay, now I'm not going to have a starting point and a stop point because I want uh, to choose the route myself. I want to avoid uh, the 17 and some major highways. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go up here and uh, I'm going to go on my route, close this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at Brookdale and I'm going to click. Then you'll see I'll click here. Now, here's where I ran into problems, okay? Um, hang on a second. Okay, I started on the wrong side of the road, <laughs> that's why. Okay, where I ran into problems is now I'm off the map and I couldn't get off. So if I clicked here, for example, um, and uh, let's click there to move the map, then I would click back to my pointer and it wouldn't continue the uh, the map which was getting me very very frustrated and you know because I can't move around when I had this pointer on so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it properly hang on okay to do it properly very simple we go new root and we're going to close this down and I'm going to start on tollgate and I'm going to go here to Brookdale and now here's the key. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move down the map. And I can go left and right and I'm going to go keep on going till I hit the 40. So I can just follow this route by using the arrows and then I'm going to hit the 43 and go this way because I'm going to go up bank and that way so I can do this rather quickly because I'm following one road here I'm just going to go up to the 31 and then I'm going to go up towards Ottawa on the 31. So this doesn't take that long to do. And click there. And I keep going up till I hit bank. And then I'm going to hit Hunts Club Road. And I'm going to go all the way on Hunts Club down past the 16 till I hit Moody. And that's pretty odd. This map is wrong. Oh, and then I'm going to go up to here. 
Moody goes down there actually. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then I'm going to go to here because I don't want to go on the 417. So I'm going to go across here to where I see I should be getting close to where I want to go. Uh, where do I want to go here? So I want to make this map bigger to find out where I want to go. So that's where I want to go. This might tell. If I uh, make this a bit bigger here, I'm just going to click there. And that's it. That's my route. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it to my tell motor cycle course because I may use it again and that's it now I take this to my tell motorcycle course and I send to my storage on HTC uh, 8788 that's my Garmin so I oh there sorry to my new V550 that's my new V550 HTC is my phone wow I could actually send that to my phone as well but anyway I'll send it to my new V and click OK and then once it's on my new V by the way um, you have to go into custom maps and import it from storage um, that's a uh, something I can't show you online because you have to do it in front of your your newbie but that's the easy part now there's my route and I can also uh, send to uh, my collection of libraries and that's it so there's my route and if I look at it just so you know if I go to my tell it's gonna tell me it's two hours and seven minutes and I can look at my routes that I want to have here and uh, any notes I can make and these are the properties total distance time and so on so really my 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 driving time is just over two hours to get there so that's it Wayne uh, hope this helps